Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phantom Doctrine. In the last episode we successfully rescued Omicron and uh, we only ended up with a small amount of injuries in the form of Duke um, getting shot a couple of times. It wasn't too bad. We've got a whole bunch of uh, different things that we can do now though. So it's worth us uh, stepping through them. Training is very, very important. Uh, keeping other people's abilities uh, nice and yeah. Exertion, opportunist, just general gun proficiencies. Uh, so intermediate firearms drill uh, was the training that we just unlocked. Uh, covert ops would give proficiency in the cobra, which we have. I'm very tempted to do that so we can move the silencer across onto um, Durand and keep that ticking along. Also, it's not massively expensive. And killing an enemy reduces the awareness of nearby enemies. That's a really, really good thing, especially when you're going to be doing something like headshotting, silenced headshotting even. So we're going to get Durand training on that. Duke's also got a training and a perk. With low profile already, I'm thinking single shot attacks no longer end the turn or decreases when expert marksman. I just love the idea of taking a single shot and then being able to move again. And for training for you, you're busy in the hospital. We'll wait until you're done. Definitely don't want to send you for training too soon. Uh, in fact, if we go to the that's exactly what we're doing with Frigate at the moment. Frigate is in for training as well. Uh, Fortress and Torpedo both have perks and training available. Uh, you've already got your damage threshold up. Protect from stun effects. Can't be suppressed. Decreases cooldown on the focus ability. Probably faster movement, actually. Let's do that. And... What have you got? You're basically just a tank, aren't you? We could give you exertion to improve the movement rate as well and make you like super, super fast for flanking and stuff. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. So this is all costing us money, of course, and uh, there's one active beholder cell out there, so our danger is gradually increasing over time. Also, the active beholder cell is reducing our income, but now we know about it, we may be able to do something about it. Torpedo, maximum awareness is 101. You're doing awesomely. Uh, we can improve your awareness regen. We can give you actor, we can make you fearless. I think we're gonna give you composure. We're going to keep you as like our standard go-to take someone down person. And with that, what extra training do we want to give you? And giving you training in a shotgun would be awesome. The 870 is brilliant. But no, let's uh, let's give you something big. We've got a couple of RP4s, I think. So intermediate firearms drill. So lots of people in training, lots of people with various bits and bobs going on. Uh, analytics. Acrobat, yeah, we're going to put you on analytics. You actually get a bonus for that. Uh, may as well put deadpan on as well. Otherwise, we're just going to be sat doing not a great deal while people are healing up. Uh, in fact... Where is Frigate and how long is that training going to take? Oh, actually one hour, it says up there. It's nearly done. So want to give Duke that training sooner rather than later. Uh, we did get a bunch of different intel files and a second uh, document to actually read through. So let's have a look at the theory of conspiracy. But worse than brass, any diversion for an upcoming op, I recommend the Roswell Gambit. Have a stealth jet, make a couple of flybys, put on a light show, then dress up as Infinity. Drive around, showcase some armed suits, the classics. Uh. Red Herring up at the Grand Arc was a success. Our men said the event generated some interest, but the commanding officer recommends a reinforcement. Okay. 
couple of interesting bits from that. Uh, there's obviously going to be more to find out. Let's uh, go back to the mercenary dossiers and we'll see how the other bits that we found will tie in together. Uh, Vanguard entered... Da -da -da -da. MSS and Reverend. So MSS obviously connects up there. Vanguard connects down here. Golf course, killer whale. Jones family, Fairview House. No, we, we need more intel to solve this one. Okay, well, it looks like we are waiting for time. So there's a special mission here. Uh, so we could go and kind of continue that. And I think... Or oh, there's the Beholder Cell. We could do Tack Recon. Uh, and I think actually that's probably a good thing to do because the Beholder Cell is going to carry on increasing the danger that we have. Uh, let's... Uh, we're going to need two agents for that mission. Yeah, let's uh, let's sort out this beholder cell before we move on and do anything. Right, so Frigate has finished training. We can give Frigate the Cobra, we can give Frigate the Suppressor. That will be fine. So, instead of the AK, we'll give you that. Yeah, because Frigate had the, uh, the Mac-10, which was just obscenely good. Cobra with a pistol suppressor. Oh, yeah. Could have also put serrated ammo in there, but I think we'll do serrated ammo and a compact follower over here. And we'll just say that um, Frigate is absolutely terrifying in terms of danger level. Uh, we do need Frigate to actually sit in the infirmary. Thankfully, she's already transferred across. So being nice and sensible with that. Mysterious package. A couple of days ago, one of your informers received a package addressed to you. After making sure it wasn't a letter bomb, they forwarded it to you. The envelope contains a cassette tape annotated ears only. Destroy afterwards. Get the feeling this is another attempt to flush you out. You don't know me, but I've heard about you. You can call me Cardinal. You've attracted the attention of the Holder Initiative. You'll discover they don't play nice. Good to know. Your handler is already compromised. Contact me if you want more information. Nice try, Cardinal. Well, the initiative crops up everywhere it's we look. interesting. It be a coincidence. Unlikely. Can I have a dossier on them, please? The dirty stuff, I mean. I know what you mean. Okay, let's sell that decoy. Uh, in fact, frigate, you can. I didn't want to buy one. Five. That's a shame. That's annoying. Uh, you can carry one of those. Uh, Duke, you can carry the other one. Cost us a little bit of money, but it's not really that much of a problem. Uh, seeing as we do have a bit of money, uh, let's start unlocking some other things. Asian brainwashing and interrogation. Ooh, that does sound nice. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, we're going to need more money before we can re-give people identities anyway. So we've got a little bit of time to kill while we're getting money. Information comes from our informer in Madrid on the theory of conspiracy. Okay. Someone in Steel Grip is spying on you for Spetsnaz and Tynos. You should know they intend to kill you. That's worrying Vanguard. Do you have any proof? So that's a message from Vanguard. Cuban diplomat Grand Arc Plague Doctors. Well, that goes that way. That's the DIA. Blackbriar Red Lieutenant. And Ardwolf. 
Lambston Maverick, Fairview House, and Cobra Jab. These are all over the place. Brinkman and Ugly Twin. Yeah, that's not a lot of useful intel. How's our other one coming along? Nothing new to find in there. Uh, actually, let's send let's send Necros over there out of the Americas. Okay, so there is a tech recon uh, completed on the Beholder cell. If we do an assault, it won't matter that our identities are compromised. And it could be a brilliant opportunity to get everyone a bit of experience. Duke, sorry, you are injured. But we can take the doctor. And we can put you out here. Uh, seeing as you don't have much anyway, use a disguise. Frigate, we want to have full access. Actually, you can use a disguise with uh, with both of those. This is this is going to be brilliant. This is going to be dangerous, uh, but we're going to take out a beholder cell. So, Operation Grounded Baron. We're attacking a major conspiracy hub. Expect fierce security measures and heavy resistance, including enemy agents. Primary objectives, eliminate the cell's leaders, evacuate upon completion. Alright, I've got no idea what's going to be the best option for this. I suspect... Okay, what have we got in turn? So, seven loot, six classified documents. I suspect there's going to be a lot of combat. There's actually a camera thing and a classified document there. Let's go for number three. Uh, if we get the chance to infiltrate at the start, then brilliant. We might have a chance to like gradually eliminate people without them realising. But we're going to have to be a little bit careful about it. The enemy's dug in deep. Oh my word. For a tough fight. So many. One, two, three, four, five visible right now. And we've got one over here in the corridor. In fact, we've got cameras there. We don't want to turn them off while he's watching, but we can eliminate this guy, potentially. Where are you actually going? You're going to there. If we stand behind you, Frigate with 111 hit points. Queen of the takedown. Yeah. This one's going to need sniping. Oh, actually, we can bring Frigate up and, and round. Silent snipe. You're on the ground. You're up top. They're not great positions, right? Stuntman in, Falcon in. I'm here. Is it time to die? Yet? pan across. Acrobat across. I think that's the best we're gonna do. Don't sneak up on me like that. <sighs> Let's have a look in here. Oh my word. So, I'm assuming that's the leader, Agent Codex. And we've got Agent Jigsaw. And Agent Dustball. So, three agents as well. 
You're going to turn around and come the other way. Let's close this door again. We might be able to get Acrobat to knock you out. Yeah, with a lot of agents around, we're going to have to be very careful of where we position ourselves. Right, let's start over here. So, Doctor. This should scratch the itch. One gone. Can you make up your mind already? Right, actually, if we really, I want to see in every single room. <laughs> Unsurprising, of course. Uh, let's, let's keep to the base, we'll go upstairs next turn. The wait is killing Get Doctor to turn off these cameras. That you? And have a little look through. Sneak up on me like that. Looks to be fine. We'll keep the door closed though. You can see an agent over there and that guy just there. I think we want to open this door. Have Acrobat. Take down. On this agent. Oh. And then step back out. <sighs> if we pick up the body, we can take it way out of the way, like down here. Where's the evac points? Yeah, we're not going to take them down to the evac point, but we could put them like over here somewhere and then get them later. That is going to leave us exposed. Get in, turn off the camera. Where are you going? Going that way to look that way. That's okay. Jeez, I thought it was somebody else. One gets captured, we all get captured. And that's just a civilian, so we, we can ignore them. You're going that way, you're going that way. So we could knock this guy out. Acrobat can't do that and get back anywhere though. Alright, I think we're going to get back and prep to run up onto the roof and knock the other guy out. Yeah. 
So we know he's kind of gone that way. And that's still going to be two because we need to step away and then pick it up. That's that's kind of bad. All right. Stuntman, you can come this way. Because I need eyes up on that roof. There we go. So, grabbing the agent, we're going to try and move them out the way. Not right now, of course, but uh, in fact, you can get up and in a position to knock it out. Why are we here again? And you can get in a position to knock this guy out. again take down let's get this over with yeah go from this side definitely safer so this is three down so far this is going to be the fourth one Two bits of loot and a classified document. Nice. Uh, we do want to head back so we can support upstairs, though. Jeez, I thought it was somebody else. Now I wonder why they get that. Little sniper symbol. Maybe it's related to Stuntman's abilities. Or perhaps they would be snipable because of their position. They're going sort of round that way. Depending, we don't quite have enough movement, but we could close the door. Oh, we'll move you up, actually. Get you in a position to potentially do some cleaning. Ah, they're pan recognized by an agent, which means they can now see everyone. Okay, shit has hit the fan. Let's try and get them all killed. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to call free back now, and then just try and do all the elimination in one go. Uh, evac to there? No, evac down here. That's far more sensible. Six enemy to eliminate. Uh, you would be massively flanked if we step round. Which would be great. Let's get this or over with. you are massively flanked from up here. Like this two agents that are problematic. Yeah, 
yeah, if we step across to here, we'll have the benefit of cover and being able to shoot out the window. Ah, oh, you can't actually get an angle from there. That's a bit pants. No exertion or anything. No, oh, now you can. Great. Don't have enough awareness to do a headshot. Could just do a regular shot, but he's definitely going to dodge. So, burst shot. Fifty-seven as a grazing shot. It's pretty impressive, I'd say. Burst shot's going to be best for this. Stuntman can take one out. Yeah, just going to be this guy who can go. That's all right. I don't think this is a good idea. Definitely a good idea. Let's get this over with. Put down the enemy agent. Oh, you can see from where you are. Interesting. Well, yeah, kill him. So how are we doing on eliminations now? That should be another two. So four left to go. Stepping around will get into better cover, which is sensible, if nothing else. Sixty six damage. I'm happy with that. Also, massive suppression. Such that you may be able to step in and get a shot as well. Those are only half cover. Really depends on the end angle. Or can go into here and shoot this guy. Thirty five damage or thirty four dam thirty five damage. All right. Rest in pieces. Three left to get. So you're pretty much guaranteed to go. The only question is where do we want to actually do the combat from? And I think probably back here in the hard cover. Falcon is sort of in the open, which sucks. Although our evac point is actually just over there. Maybe stepping across to this hard cover would be better. No, we want to flank. Only I could get both of them. All right, step on in. Single shot with the shotgun. A 
Let's see how it goes. Yeah, missed. So we've got this guy here, we've got this guy in the window. And are those the last two? They may be the last two, actually. At which point we can actually stabilise the agent that we've knocked out and we'll come away with someone. We won't get much intel in general, but... Yeah, if it's just these two left. So stabilize. Pick up the agent. And then we'll just work on eliminating those last two fools and grabbing anything else yeah. that we can on the way out. Step and get the big flank. That is full cover though. I think step to They're in pretty good positions. Yeah. Okay, let's think about what's behind us and if we're going to leave, is there anything we're going to miss by leaving? This all looks okay. Why are we here again? I'm impressed you can actually take a shot at that range. I mean, you wouldn't hit anything. But it's still very impressive. Alright, I think uh, there is something in this one. And there's this document as well. Okay. So this is going to be another turn and then hop out and along. I can't think of another way of doing it. We'll have to go this way, then that way, then that way, then round. Don't sneak up on me like that. Stuntman, you can get the flank on this one. Perfect. I don't care if you dodge. It's a shotgun. There's not really much dodging involved. Yeah. So now it's just that one remaining yeah. guy. Step closer. Nah, I don't want to do sure shot. Let's just do maximum suppression. I think Depan will be able to step inside and then get a shotgun across. But I wouldn't want to guarantee it. But we've definitely got enough bullets to just lay down hail of fire. Headshot. Primary objective complete. Good job, team. Head back home. Okay. So with the primary objective complete, let's uh, see if there's anything we can do quickly regarding 
other intel or documents. We saw that there's one in this room. It's not really going to be quick for getting to it and then getting back out. How about downstairs? Anything lootable down here? It's not looking like it. Okay, so deadpan background. Now there shouldn't be any enemies at the moment, it should only be the civilians. But that won't be the case forever. So, frigate, you're gonna grab this. And you can't quite make it to that one, that is a shame. We'll have a couple of turns before the evac gets compromised. But obviously we don't want to just be waiting around. Especially when we have an enemy agent on our back. Come on, give me something to kill. Go back down and Doctor, what do we want with you? No, we don't care about any of that. We'll go round this way. Can you make up your mind already? Just in case anyone does appear. Hurry up. We'll be put some Overwatch down. Now. I'm here. And you can do some overwatch as well in this direction. The weight is killing me. That should be pretty much all bases covered. So they've got reinforcements arriving. We're going to want to leave and get out very quickly. Yeah, they're in the back. Here's the overwatch. Interesting, they do get to move, but they don't get to fire. Now we could stay and do a fighting retreat, but I think we're just going to want to run. So Frigate is going to have to really, like, hot foot it. I'm wondering whether it would be better to actually stay in this room. If I grab that, then I may just be able to get back inside here next turn. Yeah, they've got a lot of damage reduction. We're going to leave that loot. We're going to step round. Do a decent burst on this guy, get him killed. And of course, the example that sets because it's Frigate is just awesome. Frigate, you need to close this door now. That will keep you safe for this turn. Me. 
and everyone else actually just straight for the exit. Hurry up! They'll be here any minute now. Yeah. Ready to kick ass. So, Overwatch back this way. They're not going to get close enough for it to actually be important. Let's get this over with. But just in case. Sure. Let's see where they move and what happens. We've got three turns to evacuate, so it should be plenty of time. Uh -huh. Are we done standing around? Open and have a look. It looks like they're mostly just pissing around in their own little areas. Either way, we're going to ignore them and just push straight on. And I think we'll go this way. They're not going to get in a position to be able to take a shot, so we'll just do Overwatch this way. Who is that? I'm here. We yeah, we might get a little bit of danger from the evac. One turn too late. That's what we're going to be. But that's alright, it's only 30 danger that's being added, and we're eliminating an entire cell by doing this. So I do think it's going to be a worthwhile payoff. Right. In. 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 And that is going to be it for everyone. Team evacuated, behold a cell eliminated. And overall I'm pretty happy with how that went. I don't expect all missions are going to go as smoothly as that. It did feel a little bit uh, well organised, but we didn't we didn't get a huge amount of stuff out of it. But overall, very well done. So let's uh, see what we actually get. Okay, we got an MU-255, it's a different kind of shotgun. We got a TKB. We got Agent Jigsaw. And we did kill two other agents. Uh, we also got a new Agent Candidate Shield. Uh, we can now buy gals, and we got some more intels for the Mercenary Dossiers and the Theory of Conspiracy. Wounded and compromised on Acrobat. Compromised on Deadpan. We know we're going to have to change these over, we just haven't bothered yet. And we've got new perks and things to do. Um, but as with last time, I think we'll do that at the start of next episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, we're also going to do the intel and stuff at the start of the next time. If you have enjoyed this episode, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so. And you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phantom Doctrine. See you soon.